What's going on? This is Legend of All About the Kicks. Subscribe to that channel, put a like on the button. Now, we talked about Mace, Cam, and we talked about Jim Jones. Now, you know how Jim Jones is. He really takes it serious when it comes down to Cam. He loved Cam as a brother. They've been friends since, what, nine, eight years old. Um, Cam used to come over there and stay with them at you know, Jim Jones' house back in the day. Cam put Jim Jones on. Cam did a lot of stuff. Don't get me wrong. Jim Jones put a lot of work in. You know what I'm saying? He used to direct videos. He used to be the dancer. He used to do everything. But, you know, when he started Dipset, you know what I'm saying? They changed the game. And Cam and Mace at the time was not together. They wasn't they wasn't beefing at the time, but they just wasn't messing with each other like that. Mace had did a lot of shady stuff to Cam back in the day. And Cam really didn't have a crazy, crazy record deal. And then um Mace started acting different, acting brand new. You know, when you're young and you got millions of dollars in your pocket, you think you don't need nobody. But like I said, um Cam did what he had to do turn his empire into what it is today and that's what he did and i think it was a better thing for him for him not doing an album with mace because i know mace want to do an album but for them to have a podcast together that's great man i ain't never thought to see him and mace back together being best friends and hanging out going to basketball games and all that shit you know jim jones i guess feels some type of way because maybe he's not hanging out with cam like he used to he can see cam once in the blue and i bet you he's saying like listen i've been there for you through all these years when mace was not in there when mace was in church for like six seven years giving himself to the lord i was there to you know hold you down but um it is what it is man let's let's go next topic let's salute to the new york knicks they go into the second round they play in Miami. The Milwaukee Bucks lost. Um, they lost because Giannis was hurt. Hurt his back in game one. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they lost that series, man. Uh, uh, eight seed beat a one seed. I mean, it's sad, but it is what it is. G.J. Holiday didn't do what he supposed to do. Lopez didn't do what he supposed to do. None of them dudes did what they supposed to do when Giannis was hurt. When Giannis was hurt, when they won the championship in 2021, they did their job. They was hungry. It seemed like they wasn't hungry this year, man. I don't know. They had the best um, season, the best record, the best everything, and they lost against Miami. And everybody thought Miami was done. You know what I'm saying? They was playing terrible. They was losing. They wasn't doing their job. But the <laughs> Jimmy Buckets was doing his thing. 56 points the last game. Um, Giannis did his thing. He had 35 points, 15 rebounds, a couple blocks, a couple steals. But it just wasn't enough. He needed 40. He needed 50. You know, the game went in overtime. It was a good game. It is it is what it is. Go New York, go New York. I love seeing New York in, 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 in the playoff because you got to understand when New York and L.A. is in the playoff, it's called money, 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 money. Because I haven't seen New York play like this in a while. Last time you see New York going crazy like this was in 2012, 2013, where Jerry Lynn was on the team and uh, Carmelo Anthony was on the team and the rest of them. So salute to them. I hope they could. They definitely gonna go to the, the third round. I'm not saying Miami is going. It's gonna be a tough series, but I do want New York to win. Salute to them, New York. Everybody's happy. Stephen A. Smith, Fat Joe, everybody. Let's go. Listen, Jim Jones, you my man, B. You going through some stuff right now. I know you mad about you know Cam and Mace. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Now you now you pick and push your T. Now, but don't get me wrong, y'all both is some street dudes, man. But Pusha T just got a little bit more street than you, man. And Pusha T, don't get me wrong, Jim Jones, you've been holding Dipset on the map. The, the last three albums you put out been fire. The best music you put out in a long time. Since Hollow World album. You, 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 I don't know, man. You just gotta chill out, man. You know what I'm saying? Seven years ago, you lost your house, not paying your taxes. Um, you were living there for seven years, but not paying your mortgage. Um, the house was a beautiful house. Um, you know what I'm saying? And you couldn't pay that. You know what I'm saying? You got another house now. You know what I'm saying? Because Jim Jones, he getting money. Don't get me wrong. But like I said, man, you all too old for this shit, man. You are almost 50 years old, man. Let Mason Kim do his thing. Now you messing with Pusha T. Pusha T said you you can't you can't even mess with him. Pusha got bars, man. You don't want to get in that list. You seen he did the Drake. We you know Drake. You know everybody told Drake to don't do nothing or this and that. To respond back to Pusha T. But Pusha T will murder you. You know what I'm saying? You go through these rants. You need to chill out. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you've been holding dip set. You a loyal dude. Don't get me wrong. But you gotta cut it out, man. Cam gonna do what Cam gonna do. Mace gonna do what he wanna do. We push your T alone. Put your T got nothing to do with this, man. You know what I'm saying? You just want everybody to respond back to you. You know what I'm saying? Cam gonna respond back to you like always. You know how Cam do. Y'all yeah, been friends for over 40 some years. 30 some years. You know what I'm saying? So, you just need to chill out, man. But listen, man. Let's pray for Jim Jones. And let's pray for Jamie Foxx. Um, he ain't looking too good, man. I don't know what's going on. That's the situation. We're gonna get into that video tomorrow. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of shit going on with Jamie Foxx, too. Um, hope he make it through, man. You know what I'm saying? He's still young. He's in his 50s. Um, it's just crazy, man. But anyway, subscribe to the channel. Put a like on that button. I'm back. I'm back, suckers. Holla at your boy. Yeah.